No one's here. Yeah. All right, let's start looking. We'll go through the crew quarters and work our way toward the elevator. Got it? Yeah. Guess we're gonna start investigating and see if we can find anybody at all. It's best, it's probably best if we don't split up right now. I don't think it's best for us to split up. If we get split up and Clover jumps one of us, we are dead. We're literally dead. It's best if we try to take him on two at a time. You search rooms one and two. I'll take three and four. Got it. Alice. Luna. The most horrible thing about death is how it turns a person into a thing. If a th it's a thing that looks like a friend, but it's not them anymore. Just a strange cold shell and everything, every time you look at them, you feel a little of the coldness creeping around the edges of your soul. Seeing death puts a heavy ball of lead in your stomach, it just sits there, poisoning you. Turn and left the room. <sighs> it really sucks. It really does suck. No good. There's no one in three or four. What about yours? Same. Nobody in them. Except... Except Alice and Luna. Yep. Lead ball pressed against the inside of my abdomen. Lean back against the wall. Let out a long, weary sigh. What's wrong? You need to get it together. What are we doing right now? I'm looking for others. Right. I know how you feel, but sitting around being miserable isn't going to help anybody. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. If I turned and headed to the door at the far end, I heavied myself up on the wall and followed. It's best if we just try to keep it together as best we can. Just keep it together, find the rest, find everybody else. I don't think that any of them will be in the firmary or anything like that. Oh, maybe something's here? Seems awfully quiet here. Oh! How? Oh. Ha! Oh. The first thing I felt was a strange cold sweat of terror. My stomach clenched in protest, pushing away with a violent nausea up to my throat. The lead ball turned to ice. My legs began to tremble under its weight before they finally gave the way and collapsed. They were dead. I could feel the moment I looked at them, but I didn't want to believe it. They couldn't be dead. Perhaps, perhaps I was just sleeping. Cold, limp feel of the skin under the shaking fingers dashed and you hope it had left. I wrapped a, tr I warped, I wrapped a trembling hand around the end of the bed and hauled myself up onto it. Even when I closed my eyes, I could still see them. My heart hammered away at my ribs. My chest felt so tight I could barely breathe. I forced myself to take long, deep breaths. Finally, I opened my eyes. They were in a blind spot. What? The security camera. Remember how we didn't see anything in the real-time feed in the security room? Yeah. Because the partition was in the way. Yeah. They handcuffed together. Yeah. Whoever did this really didn't want them going anywhere. The chain's been looped around the pipe below the sink. They would have been trapped here when the doors closed. Why? Look. See the red marks on their wrists? They were trying to get the handcuffs off. So you're saying it wasn't one of them that did this? Probably not. That's a cut in Timiuchi's left hand. Looks like it's probably from a knife or something it's similar. Must have been deep. And the blood on his clothes probably came from that wound. I don't see any others at least. If this was the only one, it doesn't look fatal. I don't think he died from this cut. The penalty. When the primary doors closed. They, they couldn't get to them. Needle, needle some base that's activated and. Yeah. 
You can see the marks on their wrists from where they were injected. The tubercurine must have killed them. Do you think that's why they, they were handcuffed in the sink? Hmm. Or to the sink? They wouldn't have been able to get through the white doors without Quark. If someone wanted to use the penalty to kill them, they didn't need to tie them up. Yeah, you got a point. Hmm. What's wrong? I take back what I just said. You find something? Yeah. Five bent down to pick something up and handed it to me. A sign bracelet? This was Quark's. Correct. It has 9 BP too. There's no mistake. What is Quark's bracelet doing here? Wait, no, hold on. Quark's bracelet is here, then that means. Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. No! No! This can't be happening. Not Quark. Hey, Sigma, calm down. Just because his bracelet's off doesn't mean Quark's dead. But... In fact, this could be good news. A ray of hope. A ray of hope? Yeah. If Quark still had his bracelet on, then he would have ended up like Tenmyoji and Clover. But he's not wearing it. That means he might have managed to avoid getting injected with tubercurine. You mean the bracelet came off before the doors closed? Yeah. That's impossible. So Junior told us that they only come off when your heart stops, when you escape. Maybe he got out then. Right, he got 9 BP. Wait, so you're saying he escaped, then came back and left his bracelet there? No, that's impossible too. Zero Junior said the number 9 door only opens once. Then he was able to get outside. He couldn't come back in. Why do you have to be so pessimistic? Have you actually seen Quark dead, huh? You need to think positive, Sigma. Reality is what we believe it to be. <laughs> really? So you're saying this is what we want to happen? That's enough! Damn. The guy is kind of freaking out, honestly. She's trying to hold it together. She really is trying to hold it together severely. The guy is just freaking all the way out. Just all over the place. Quark is definitely alive. He has to be. He has to be. I refuse to believe he isn't. I can't let an innocent kid like that get killed. I wanted to ask if she meant Clover and Timioji weren't innocent, had deserved to die, but I swallowed my words. Fighting wasn't going to help us. All I could do was hope that Fi was right. Perhaps Quark was still alive. What are you doing? Examining their bodies. Ten Miyoji first. Why? Clues. What kind of clues? To who might have killed them. Finding Quark's bracelet tells us something. If the killers saw it, that would make for an obvious motive. With Quark's bracelet, Clover and Ten Miyoji would have been able to go through the white doors. The killer handcuffed them to, sink, uh, to the sink to prevent that. Right. That's my guess, at least. That's odd. What's wrong? I can't find anything. Huh? I should have found something. What? You remember when we ran into Tenmyoji in the rec room? He sprayed our wrists with luminol. I'm sure I saw him pull the spray bottle out of his pocket. And now you can't find it. Right. Do you think the killer took it? I don't know. I'm gonna take a look at Clover, too. Give me a minute. Fine knelt down next to Clover as she spoke, began to gingerly examine her corpse. Then after a moment, I saw her hand stop. Look. See your thigh? Doesn't it look like there's something written there? Yeah, it does. I'm sorry, I'll have to move your leg a little bit. It's written in blood. It's between Yoji's. It says 016. What does that mean? Hang on. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. 016. 016. I know I've seen it somewhere. <sighs> it's no use. Can't remember. 
Don't get my hopes up like that. Anyway, these numbers have to have something to do with the killer. She must have written them after she got hit with a soparil. There would have been a few minutes before she went all the way under when she could have done something. I think she probably used those last minutes to tell the rest of us who'd killed her. 016, huh? Maybe. But that's the only people who could have done it are K and Dio. Assuming it wasn't one of us, I mean... No. There's also Quark. I mean, I'm not saying he did it, just... There's always a possibility. Damn it. This is hopeless. Can't keep up anymore. I think he was a goddamn mystery. Like, what about that old woman we found? Who killed her? The moment, the moment of the AB room that makes Luna seem the most suspicious. But then, would she, but then, would she have done it? And we don't have any good explanation why she would have wrapped a knife up in a handkerchief. Of course, not Luna's death too. So, could have, what could, who could have killed her? The footage from a security camera, paired with Dio's behavior, makes Clover seem like the most likely suspect. But now we'll never know for sure. Asa's killer is a complete mystery. We don't know what the hell 016 is supposed to mean. Don't have any idea what Quark's gone. What the hell does any of this mean? We killed everyone. Was it Zero? Zero Senior? And who is Zero Senior? What the hell does he want? Why does this game even exist? Why did they kidnap us and bring us here? Oh, we added. Where is this? Where is... When is this? Mysteries. 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 I feel like my head's about to explode. Please, Fi. Give me something. Anything. A clue. A hint. Come on, you gotta have something. The Luminol. Huh? I think there's a very good chance someone took the spray bottle out of Tenmyoji's pocket. Okay, but how is that important? Well, let me ask you this. Why do you think they took it? So they could test for blood? What would they need to do in order to do that? They just need to spray the bottle at whatever they want to test. That's it? No. But you're right. Luminol reacts with organic compounds that glows. But the glows are really faint. So? So? So you need to make it dark. You have to turn off the lights in order to see if anything is glowing. And that would mean? That would mean... The rec room! Find our race for the door. We weren't sure what we'd find, but we knew where we were going. I had a feeling deep in my gut that whatever we found would be the breakthrough I've been looking for. So we gotta come back and get the uh, Luminol then, right? We have to obtain the Luminol first of all before we do anything else. Or there's something else at Luminol that we have to obtain. Must be. Right? This couldn't go any faster, could it? We'd have to wait it all the way out. There we go. Rec room. Oh, I did not expect that. Holy fuck. Everything in my head ground to a halt. Even after all I'd seen, a room full of corpses had a profound effect. Such a ridiculous thought that before I could stop myself, I laughed. The laugh made me think. Was laughter in this situation a defensive response des designed to protect a brain from constant emotional bombardment? 
I said that right before an animal dies, it feels a moment of comfort. Right before death, the brain releases a huge amount of endorphins in the bloodstream. Pain is only a warning signal meant to help the body avoid death, but when death becomes a, certain, a certainty, pain no longer has any use. In fact, the loss of pain can lead to incredible feel, feats of the edge of, on the edge of death. Say the two species of animals come under attack from some overwhelming force. All of them are severely wounded near death. Species A feels pain, but species B doesn't. The horrible pain felt by species A prevents them from moving. Because they feel no pain, some of the species B will manage to drag the wounded bodies to safety and survive. As a result, species A is eliminated, while species B manages to survive. This process of natural selection has been repeated for thousands of, no, millions of years. All creatures that walk the face of the earth are descended from the species B. I'm no exception. That's why I can look at a room full of corpses and laugh. Genes that have been given up by millions of years of evolution have changed my fear into ecstasy. I guess this means you and I are the only survivors. Don't make me keep saying it. Quark's still out there somewhere. Probably killing us. Yeah. You're right. He is still out there. So would that mean he killed him? I mean, you said yourself that there was no way there was a tenth unabated player on, uh, out there when Alice was killed. But also refuted the possibility of Zero Senior being the tenth person. There's no tenth person. The only people alive are you, me, and Quark. That means... You're being ridiculous. Look at their bodies. There's an axe buried in Kay's back. And the spear has been thrust all the way through Dio's stomach. Do you really think a child Quark's size could do that? Alright then. Acing, you killed them? Ugh. Are you insane? And just when would I have done that? I've been with you this whole time. She was right. After the end of the second round of the AB game, Fi and I hadn't, hadn't been out of each other's sight. We'd gone through the wide door, explored the security office, solved puzzles, all of it together. No, wait. There had been one time. One time when I wasn't watching. A few minutes in the security office, when I res rested the cat on the couch. Could she have snuck out then? The workroom and security office weren't that far away from one another. If the round trip took about a minute, she killed them in four minutes, and the whole thing would have only taken her five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, huh? Just how long had I been out? No, that wasn't really a lot right. I haven't been out. It just felt like everything was being fast forwarded, probably because my ment mental process speed has dropped. But how long has I been like that? Might have only felt like a few seconds to me, but could have been much longer. And where had something like mental processing speed dropping come from? Uh, hey, what you doing, Nafai? Checking their bodies like before. I decided to start with Dio. Find anything? Yeah, two things actually. Oh? Take a look at this. Knife! Yeah. There's something engraved on the blade, too. Myrmidons. Is that the name of the manufacturer? Dunno. It's not a name I've ever heard of before. But look at the handle. You've seen it before, right? This is the knife that was stabbed into Alice's chest. Right. I knew it! He crawled in there to grab the knife! From the looks of it, I guess the blade is about 15 centimeters long. I'd say it's probably about three centimeters tall and three millimeters wide. Hmm. I think I heard those numbers before. Like, wound cavity, 150 millimeters. Wound length, 30 millimeters. Wound width, three millimeters. Yeah, that's it. When Luna scanned the old woman's body, those were the numbers it gave us for the wound. Hmm. Right, well... Wound cavity would be the depth of the wound. Wound length would be how long it is from top to bottom. And wound width would be how wide the flat end of the wound is. In other words... There's something to describe the size and shape of the wound, right? Right. So with the match, that means the knife was used to kill the old woman. Well, I was just eyeballing those measurements so we can't be sure. 
Still, what else do you have it? You must have gotten it from Alice. I know that. What I, what I mean is, why did he take it? Did he want to destroy the evidence? Maybe he was the one who killed Alice. That would match up with what we saw. Could be, possibly. No, wait. Hold on a second. I'm getting confused here. Alice would have had the knife first, right? She picked it up when she found it, wrapped in a handkerchief next to the AB room. Right. So Dio took it from her and stabbed her? If that's what happened, why didn't he just take the knife then? Why leave it there for us to see it, then come back and get it later? Well, we can look into that more later. First, I want you to have a look at something else. What? Don't you remember what I said? I found two things. There was the knife and... This. Hey, this is that key. What do you mean, that key? We found it in the Golem Bay. Didn't have any idea what it was for then, though. But Alice said it might be important, so she'd hang on to it just in case. So, Alice should have had this, right? Yeah. And now Dio's got it. Yeah. So when Dio took the knife, he also took Kay's key. Wait, Kay's key? Oh man, you couldn't figure it out from the shape? I did, but apparently Sigma didn't. What do you mean? Get over here. A picture's worth a thousand words. Let me show you. She walked over to Kay's head knelt down on one knee and pointed to the back of it. You remember this, right? Oh yeah. So that's it. It unlocks a suit, right? Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Before I had the time to prepare myself, Fi shoved the key into the slot and twisted. But... Oh. <laughs> it's no good. Can't get it open. Why not? Maybe the suit is powered, and it needs to be on in order to open, but with this axe in here... You're saying it shorted the suit out of something? I think so. At any rate, the key fits perfectly. I don't have any doubt it's for removing Kay's suit. Do you think Dio knew that when you took it? Hmm, I wonder... So I guess we'll never know what this space really looks like. Yeah. Unless we do the K route, I'm pretty sure there might got there gotta be a route that we could do to figure out what K's face looks like. No way we can get that mask off with our bare hands. I wonder who he was. Well, I still haven't checked him over. Let's have a look. Maybe we'll find something that'll tell us who he is. She'd only been searching a few seconds before she stopped and pulled something out of K's robes. Look. What is it? A spray bottle with luminol in it. That's the one Tim Yuji had. Yeah. Then, does that mean Kay was the one who handcuffed them to the sink? We don't know yet. Why not? Kay might have taken the spray from Ten Miyoji after he died. It's possible he made it through the white doors before we did, went to the infirmary and got this. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, there's something I want to see. Turn off the lights. Are you going to check for luminol reaction? Yeah. If Kay used the spray before he died, we might still be able to see it. There's blood everywhere in here, though. That's okay. If he didn't spray it, there won't be a reaction from any of it. Come on. Alright, do it. Okay. <sighs> Done. Thanks. Hmm. Just as I thought. Look. Dia's left wrist. The other side of his bracelet is glowing. Exactly. But why? Because there are traces of blood on it. Whose blood? We've seen five people with serious bleeding. The old woman, Alice, Ten Miyoji, and these two here. I'm disinclined to think this is Dio or Kay's blood, though. See? If you look, it's been wiped off. Except for the luminol, the bracelet looks clean. Why would someone wipe blood off a bracelet after being hit with an axe or stabbed with a spear and then spray it with luminol? It doesn't make sense. Then that leaves the old woman Alice and Temuji. Right. Do 
remember what Timmy just said to us in this room? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Please, just do it. Do you think Timmy had figured out that one of the bracelets would have blood in it? That would have meant he was looking for either Alice's blood or the old woman's. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder which it was. No idea. But whatever the case, Tenmyoji seemed to think that whoever had this bracelet was Ciro Sr. Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. What? Neither one of you is Ciro Sr. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yeah. Whoa, wait. Are you saying that Dio is Ciro Sr.? I don't know. The only thing I can say for sure is that there's a possibility that Dio killed the other six victims. Then who killed Dio? Kay, perhaps? After he was attacked, he used the last of his strength. Another descendant of the species B. Huh? Nothing. Forget about it. <sighs> anyway, if Zero Senior was Dio, then... All of this would be over. This awful game would be over. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What? What the hell is happening? That's impossible. Quark. Quark? Quark open the gate? Whatever. We need to get back to the Floor A warehouse. Hurry! I know, I'm coming. What the hell? Oh, Quark is probably waiting for us or something. That little murderous bastard is probably waiting for us. They're gonna be attacking us or something. He's probably gonna kill us right then and there. He's gonna do something, I'm pretty certain.